Welcome, and thank you for your interest in the finite element method using ANSYS short course. My name is Mandy Farahikia, and I will be the instructor for this class. Let me give you a little background about myself and the topics that we'll be covering over the next few weeks. I'm an instructor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Binghamton University, and I'm a PhD graduate, class of 2018. I've been using finite element method and ANSYS for various types of applications, such as structural, acoustics, thermal, and coupled field for the past seven years. While I've been using ANSYS software for many years, my working at ANSYS as a co-op was the turning point for my experience using this software. It has indeed been extremely beneficial, especially when I teach my Introduction to Finite Element Method class as an adjunct lecturer at Binghamton University. We'll begin this short course by learning the recommended method of starting ANSYS APDL through the product launcher window. Several features of that window, including activating high-performance computing to enhance simulation runtime, will be explained. After becoming familiar with the ANSYS APDL environment, every step in completing a successful analysis will be taught in a comprehensive manner. You will learn how to select the right element type for your analysis and the difference between a good mesh and a not so good one. Several modeling techniques, setting up solution features, and data extraction through post-processing will be covered in this short course. Within each learning module, there are ungraded self-assessment questions to gauge your own progress with each topic. At the end of each module, there will be a scored quiz to more formally evaluate your level of understanding. At the successful completion of this short course, you will have a comprehensive understanding of using ANSYS to solve engineering problems. You will be able to determine the correct element type, set up your analysis properly, and extract data for professional reporting of your results. I hope you enjoyed this important course and that it begins your lifelong journey into using ANSYS for finite element analysis of engineering problems.